Hello, hello. I don't know where the time goes. It just felt like two minutes and it was longer than that. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. I am not normally here on Mondays this time of year, but um, I had to be here for an appointment at the shop this morning. And then I have an appointment in town here this afternoon. So, I, you know, I, I'm not going to drive 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. You know, it's just not going to happen. So hanging out, trying to get warm. And um, before I have to leave, I want to get a little something done on our frame. If you're new to me, welcome, welcome. I am Linda with Seaporium, as you see with the posting. And we, I have a shop on the far west end of Main Street in the little village of Hyannis on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Like I said, it's, it's a little cold in here. I have my many layers on and I have my space heater going and we're just, we're, we're just doing it. Um, I'll be happy to get home and get warm. <laughs> Um, we started this particular project for Iron Orchid Designs. They're live, I do uh, a live like how-to video um, on their Facebook page on the first and third Wednesdays of every month. I mean, bearing something happening and I just can't make it. Uh, so th this was something that, you know, I have plenty of holiday signs. Um, I had a window I needed to get to, and so we're doing a holiday window. Uh, some of it is from the new products. Um, a lot of it isn't. It's just I'm doing what I need to do because this will sell, hopefully. Um, we get interest in our windows. People don't typically come shopping, unfortunately, down Main Street, at least not this far down um, a lot during you know, the off-season. So, um, instead of putting something else to pack away, we're going to do this window. And let's get a different angle going so you can see. We're going to get rid of this banner. And let me just briefly tell you about, um, we are on other avenues as well. We're here on um, Facebook. It's Instagram, uh, X, I guess, is formerly Twitter. Uh, it's, um, we're on TikTok and YouTube, all right? We do a lot, of, I do a lot of videos, especially this time of year, um, you know, just me entertaining myself while I am here working. And if you're, if you're so inclined, please give us a follow, share if you like what you see. We would love that. It would mean a lot to us. Uh, currently, my lives only go to subscribers on YouTube and my lives like today here on my page on Facebook, I am streaming over to YouTube and to our web website. Um, I'm having a tough time talking today. And it's, it's, it's Monday and I haven't had enough coffee apparently. So, um, you know, on our website, I haven't figured out if there's a way that we can get you to co you know, show comments. But I, I have seen on YouTube that I do get comments. Hello, hello. hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. What brings you down today? Lunch. Lunch? Brazilian grill, I take it. Or no no's. I figured I'd stop in to see what's going on. I appreciate it. We're a DIY store and I paint the furniture and home decor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very we cool. do a lot of how-to videos, which is what I'm working on now. And, you know, feel free to check it out. We do a custom painting. I'm doing this little kidney-shaped vanity for someone and another little end table. Mailbox got done for someone else. Wow, cool. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, thank you for stopping in. I will enjoy. Yeah, I do. It's my little sandbox. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> All right. So... I am using the Dixie Bell Iron Patina Paint today. This is something that you are, um, if you like texture and old world, if you want something unexpected and very organic to happen, like this is this is what you want to this is what you want to use. 
Um, it comes in iron, which is what I'm using. You've seen me, I have, I have videos up using um, uh, copper, and there's also bronze. There's two different sprays. We have a green spray and a blue spray, and I believe the blue spray you pretty much just use with the bronze, and the green spray you typically use with the iron and the copper. Okay, my green spray is starting to darken. It's an acid, all right? And what it does is it's, once we put this paint down, I do it wet, um, so that's what I'm kind of doing right now. We're gonna, do, we're gonna apply the paint and then we're gonna spray, and it's gonna happen very organically. It's, uh, there is metal in the paint, and this acid is going to react with that metal, and you, pro you won't see a reaction in the time of this video, but it will happen. So if you saw our other video, um, and you can catch those uh, other videos on my, by scrolling back on a playlist here, and uh, you'll see that this was already done. I love my husband to death, and, and, and I was at a dog adoption event on, on, on Saturday, and he came in, and um, I gave him the, the project of um, painting the rest of the window, since we have all the, the molding done, all the caulking done, all the fixes done, all those videos were, 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 were showing how to do all that. So I asked him to cover the rest in um, the two coats of gravel road, chalk style paint, chalk mineral paint from Dixie Bell. And to, and then yesterday he came in for me because he's, he's an amazing person. And he put on the coat of iron patina. And now we're gonna put on our second coat. It probably has got more coverage than needed to happen, but you know what? I don't mind it. Um, when we're dealing with molds, I mean, it's clay. And if you're storing and you're moving this and, and whatnot, it can get nicked. I'm trying to give it all the protection that we can. Plus, when you have all these little nooks and crannies that these beautiful molds give us, uh, it's and when it, the paint is wet and shiny, it is so hard, so, so hard to see areas that you've missed, especially in all those little gullies of all the details, right? So, you know, it doesn't hurt to put, you know, more coats than you think you may need. All right, so I have paper over our transfer. We do have a, the transfer still here, all right? We're gonna be adding this door and we're gonna be adding more to these other panes. There are gonna be windows. We're gonna be adding transfers tr um, trickling down from the top. I just wanted to show you, I was doing a live on Instagram and I showed everyone my little contraption for um, taking my door that we made, right? And I taped it down. I, well, after we cut it open, right? After the video, I put it on this board. We taped it down. And I have the back of the door propped open with the tape and a piece of plastic. Could have been another thin board or whatever, just to hold that door open while my um, resin was still pliable. Um, if, your, if your resin you know, got really hard, you can always take like a heat gun to it. Mine's on the floor, I don't wanna go down. But basically there's different versions of heat guns. You just put a lot of heat to that area and it will soften your resin. So this was a quick set resin, it dries white and it dried in about, we did it in the live, okay? It dries in about 10 minutes or so. And, and like I said, we want, we want this while it's still soft. So the minute that the back of the resin is no longer tacky, um, that my finger isn't like sticking to it, I pull it out. And it should still be a little warm because um, resin um, creates its own heat and that's how it dries. And um, that's when we, you know, we, want, we want to tape this upright, okay? So we have an open door for our fairy. All right, so. This is part, and the transfers that are going to be used for this project are from um, the Fairy Merry Christmas by Iron Orchid Design. So that is where our door is going over. We're going to have this beautiful garland, you know, sort of behind it. And we're just going to keep that masked off because we're going to, we're going to do some work here. 
All right. Now, where you see this details, this, these are on the back of the panes. So I'm not going to worry about this as long as I'm not touching underneath. We're good. Um, and the rest of these panes, I'm going to have to wash them again. We'll scrape them if we have to. See where we have paint on the glass here. We'll scrape that clean. We will um, take our rubbing alcohol and clean the glass before we put transfers or anything else on there or glue anything, okay? So for this, I have some um, Tupperware here that we're going to pour a little bit into. And you want to mix any of your paints really well. Paints and primers you can shake. All right, and you want to make sure you do a good job of this because, like I said, this is actual, there's metals in this paint. So all these goodies, all the ingredients, you want it nicely mixed up. Um, any of your paints, you, you, you really want to have all your ingredients mixed well. Because a lot of times your heavier ingredients settle, your, your lighter ingredients go rise, and so... Um, shaking, stirring, doing all that is really important whenever you're working with any kind of paints, but especially, you know, things like um, primers, especially the um, more specialty primers, okay? So I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of the paint. I don't want to overdo this because I'd rather not maybe have little um, dust in my container or get, you know, parts on my brush that, that it might be on, the, on my um, working table here. I have parts, you know, little bits of clay. Um, we want to try and keep our paints as um, debris-free as possible. And then, I, you know, if you noticed, I, I cleaned the, the rim of that. So when I go to open the paint later, um, it's not an issue. I don't suggest you do a real wet brush. But um, just for the purpose of, you know, maybe the paint not sticking to the bristles so much, I just lightly dampen. I barely touch the bristles into that water, and I'm working that water around the bristles. That's all I'm doing. Now for this, and again, we have base coated in a similar color. I did, I had my husband put one coat of the, of the iron paint on. All right, we have a rag. We have a protected area. If we are doing this on a table, you want to put a nice plastic tarp down. We have our spray ready. You know, we want to make sure that it's on. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. So it's open. And we're just going to start painting. I'm going to start working from the top. And let's see. We're going to do like an area, okay? Let's do an area. You know, you're going to want to use what makes sense to you. We have grooves in these windows. So to me, it wasn't worth um, doing the patina inside these big grooves that the windows used to, you know, fit in and slide up and down on. Um, so I'm just doing the parts that we can see. And you want to work somewhat fast. And again, I'm working this wet. I believe that's what is suggested. I mean, I've been doing this kind of work with products for years, so um, I'm not sure what the paint actually says. I don't have my reading glasses on. Shake well when using iron, steel, or other metals. Prime start to prep. Okay, if we're doing this on metal, you want to use their prep, their um, prime start to um, prime it. We're using it on wood, so we didn't need to do that. Um, prevent rusting through the piece after the green spray is applied. On non-metal, apply a coat of Dixie Belle paint, let dry with a brush or sponge. Apply first coat of patina paint, let dry. Apply a second coat, and while still wet, yep, you spray. Okay, so that's what we do here as well. That's what, I mean, like I said, I've been doing this um, as a business for so long that some of this is just kind of what I do. So I just knew. 
So this is what you do. You base coat in a paint because you want to get it like a similar color. This would be fairly trans translucent, so that's why you're putting um, you know, a, a, a paint underneath. Gravel Road is a perfect match for this. It's, it's, it's a great base color for this iron patina paint. So like I said, there is actual metal, there's iron in the paint. And then we spray it with this acid spray. And it does have a green tint because um, I've noticed this, if it goes on just regular paint, it gives it like a green tint. Okay, so let's just kind of maybe do this one other pane. And remember, if you watch the other videos, I said, get all this messy work done before we do the transfers. But we were working live the other night, so um, we kind of skipped a step. So I do have a transfer on the glass here where the paper is. But this is, see why you want, you want to get all this stuff done first. Because otherwise, you'd really want to protect all the transfers and your stamping and all that before you... you in this way, we can just make our mess, clean the glass, and add our transfers. Okay, so now everything is coated. I hope. We'll find out. We can always touch up an area if we find we missed a spot or we didn't like how it came out. So now what we want to do, oh wait, I didn't get, I don't think I got to the edge of this very well. And I don't like to put too thin of a coat. It's like applying glue, right, for your molds. You want it kind of just right. Don't put it on so thick that you get a lot of texture, unless that's what you're going for. Um, and then while it's still wet, we're just going to spray it. I like this better than pouncing, but I was working in a very tight situation the other day um, when I was getting ready for my video. And the pouncing to me was very, like, purposeful how the rust happened, okay? You can do it at different heights to get, you know, a little bit or a little bit less, a little bit more. Like I said, if you want more, then you just maybe dab an area more with the um, iron paint. And then hit it with the spray again. All right, easy. This is so easy to do. And what will happen is I'll show you um, the details. Oh, I'm sorry, the, that little circle was in the way of that. So all I did was we sprayed very lightly, okay? Just choot, very lightly until I got what I think I like. Maybe a little bit more there. I like more in the corners, I think. Okay, we're gonna paint this section. So next time, I won't be coming in tomorrow. I've been so pooped out, I don't know why. Wednesday, I could start sealing this. I like to use gator hide to seal it, especially like the windows in general, because again, we're using the moldings. And these are going to get stored. So to me, it's just kind of a good idea um, to give it a good, solid, um, Don't think I'm going to hit this pane with the spray. I'm going to dab it on because I don't want that to get all over. I don't have any plastic here to kind of save that transfer should it get wet. Oh, you know what? I could probably do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
this will work, right? Oh, maybe that fits. Eh, not quite. But we could probably get away with this and move it around. Okay. Um, yeah, my hubby went and painted over all these areas I already had done. Um, but, you know, that's okay. He was here working. Okay. And then, now that it's still wet, right, we're gonna, actually going to hit this again. It's starting to dry already, actually, so you want to work kind of fast. And just a little bit of sprays. Whatever you feel. And as this sits, it's going to start to, and when it's drying, you'll see the rust start to happen. And if you don't seal it, from my past experience and working with these pro this type of product, is it can continue to rust as it's exposed to the air and time and things. This is just taking that process and speeding it up. So let's get this here. Okay. Okay, and then over to here a little bit. And down here. I mean, that's it. Simple, easy, you can't ask for an easier process that'll give you such a cool result. Now we did a sort of a fake rust look once for our um, uh, pumpkin lady, the pumpkin princess. And that was simple. I, got, I learned that from our friend Charlotte at uh, Creative Soul Makery in Garden City, Michigan, where she did the black, um, I believe it was caviar chalk mineral paint. And, um, and with the sealer, or you could use like the easy peasy spray wax, I believe is what she used, and sprinkled cinnamon on it. And that gave it a real, not only a really cool rust effect, but it also smells really nice if you like cinnamon. So that's it. I'm going to continue this over on Instagram and then I got to go. And again, if you're interested in this product, I should, I think I have all three available iron copper and bronze we have the sprays if you're doing it on metal i do have the primer they do sell a top coat but you can i i prefer to use gator hide and that's it you can order it all online at seporium.com if you want to go right to shopping hit um, a forward slash collections at the end of that and thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're watching on replay, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will hopefully see you on Wednesday.